It was Halloween, the weather was cold and windy, the leaves were changing colors, and people had orange big pumpkins that were carved to look scary. People were going around getting candy. Then I heard a little girl crying. I went to see what had happened. The girl's candy was spilled a little on the street, but I noticed that most of it was gone. Someone had stolen her candy. Then I heard someone say, Ow! I saw a candy bag being blown in the wind, and I saw that it was empty. I saw a little boy standing nearby, and I knew it was his. I talked to the boy, and he said a person that had black clothes on and a mask took his candy. Next, I saw a person a little bit taller than I was. It matched the boy's description. I'm guessing he was about 10 or 11. I started running towards him, but when he saw me, he started running. He led me down a dirt road, and then I recognized it. This was the pumpkin patch. I knew my way around it pretty well because i have been here a lot. He ran toward a field, and I followed him. We passed some corn, which had a scarecrow guarding it. Then I saw a haystack on top of the hill. I kept my eyes on the candy bandit so I didn't see the mud at the foot of the hill, and I slipped on it. Then I saw the haystack rolling towards me. I was stuck in the mud. The hay toppled on me, and I couldn't get up. Finally, I was able to get up and chase the bandit into the garden. The bandit ran into a rose bush, and his pockets tore open, and I, the candy fell out. I got the candy and returned it to the kids. One night of night, the weather was dark and stormy. Bats flew and wolves howled. The town was full of witches, goblins, and ghosts. The town's people walked, locked their windows and stayed inside. Pumpkins grinned at the ghosts as they tapped along the doors of houses. Witches jumped on piles of foliage and goblins ran through their spider webs. All were carrying baskets in shapes of pumpkins. Some fairies flew in and pirates came, all knocking on the doors. Sometimes lights would flicker on and people would glance outside. Leaves fell from trees and sl drifted slowly down upon roofs of houses where spiders hid behind their spider behind their webs for fear of the ghouls. The moon was full and the night drew on. The ravens cried in the dark. Werewolves came and howled in the night. When it became dark, the mortis came. Vampires flew in from castles and caves. Until all at once the people came out and called to the monsters. Everyone exclaimed, Aww, and took off their masks. Kids came pouring into the houses. The night of scares was over. One of them, there's a, one of them, there's a haystack covered in spider webs. People avoided that haystack, and one day there were five orange pumpkins. They all had different faces carved into them. One looked sad, one looked happy. One looked mad, one looked scared, and one looked surprised. People have heard if you pick up a pumpkin, a, a ghost will appear and you, 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 you control you. The control person will get the personality of what the pumpkin looked like. There is an oak tree that has acorns that are linked to the five pumpkins. An acorn falls when up when the pumpkin is picked up. When is when all that acorn has fallen, the people are uncontrolled. Every time that happens, the people who picked up this scare scare the pumpkin. The sad I mean the, the sad pumpkin are wondering why they're in a mime costume. There's a huge barn by the haystack. And that is filled with bats. One, one, one open. Bats are flying all over the place. One more thing is the bats that fly too that fly too close to the pumpkins are controlled by the paranormal pumpkins. One day I was outside in the autumn weather. I saw something strange but fast. I hid behind a haystack quickly, but the thing was still quicker than me. It seemed to be just a second ago when I was in my yard, but now I was at a pumpkin harvest. It was I was really scared at that point. I looked everywhere to see if it was just some leaves, but I didn't see any. And then I saw something. I saw a scarecrow covered in spider webs, but instead of crows it, on it, there were bats. The scarecrow came out of nowhere, so that made it even more creepy. The foliage around it was so beautiful and orange, but it was really scary. I threw an acorn at it, but it wouldn't budge. 
I was happy about that. But then the hand moved inside of the pocket and pulled out a knife. And then I woke up from a dream. It was all a dream, but a scary one. I was thankful that no one got hurt, but I will always remember that dream. It was Halloween night and I was trick-or-treating for a long time, so that might have been some of the reason I was having nightmares. I was obviously eating too much candy. Hopefully that won't happen again next Halloween. I learned that sometimes I can regret eating too much candy. But remember, sometimes it's fun to be scared. Once upon a time, there was some spooky stuff going on. It all started on an autumn day. Scarecrows were talking, spiderwebs were giant, and acorns could fly. The weather was a scary overcast and only 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Leaves were becoming orange, but last, but definitely not least. As I was saying, pretty scary day, right? Well, it gets scarier, a lot scarier. Bats are watching us 24-7, even while we are sleeping. Did you know they can see in the dark? Spooky, huh? Today, I saw exploding pumpkins. I was covered in pumpkin guts. I was so scared, I tell you, I almost cried. I didn't, though. I'm a man, a man. So I took a shower to get it all off. Ah, I just saw a go, 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 ghost. It was in the basement. I'm going to buy a ghost sucker up to get it out. I am scared. The store for ghost sucker uppers is on 47th Avenue. The haunted 47th Avenue. I have to go, though. It is my only hope. Goodbye, house. I'll see you later, alligator. A ghost sucker upper is here, said the man that works there. I bought it for five cents. I was going home. I saw the ghost. I sucked it up. I had won the battle. For now. Happy Halloween!